need your prayers this morning. I feel like Brother Darrell this morning in that doesn't take a great multitude today to be out this morning to get to feel the Spirit of the Lord this morning, but if you come out today and you're seeking out a few answers or you need to hear from the Lord, yeah. He's ready this morning. It's I would just hope that I would just come in a way that would be pleasing to God this morning. And that maybe I could get myself in, in a place to let the Lord come and work today. And I need your prayers this morning. I don't know what the case will be with me. I know that. I know that the devil, he's out there and he's trying to rob each and every little victory that he can get from us, Brother Chad. That, that every time that in our natural mind, and our natural self, that we would get down. And even as a preacher, sometimes the, the devil, he would work on us and tell us that there's no use in trying real hard today. There's not much use in making a big effort. Let's just go through the motions and we'll go back to the house. But you know, Brother Chad, it's sometimes when I'm at the house and I'm feeling awfully weak and I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, no, maybe I don't want to go over there this evening and go to free church. Or maybe I'm supposed to be doing something for the Lord and I'm trying to get out of it every time. And I'm making every excuse possible, Brother Joe, until I just get done fighting. And I said, fine, I'll go. And uh, You know, sometimes it's at those moments when I go to that meeting that I get the best blessing that I've ever had. And uh, it makes me realize sometimes that maybe I just need to shut up for a second uh, and listen to the Lord a little bit more because He's willing to bless His children uh, uh, this morning. He's willing to lead us. Uh, and He's always wanting to guide us, but it's up to us if we're going to listen to Him this morning or not. I don't know what the case is with you this morning or where you're at in your life today, but I know that there is one who knows your very needs this morning, who knows your very wants today, that before you can even speak it, he's already sensed it this morning, Brother Chad, one with greater power. I'm thankful this morning that the Bible says that pre it's not done with the enticing words of man's wisdom. I, 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 Brother Joe, because I would have failed a, a, a long time ago. There's one thing a, 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 I realize is there's nothing special a, 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 about me, Brother Chad. There's no great, a, a, no greatness in me that would allow a, 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 a me to get a message across. But it's when, a, it's when Mike decides to sit back and roll in and let the war. It's then that the Lord can come in and work, you know. It, it said like this one time, it says that there was a man of the Pharisees, a man named Nicodemus, who said he come to Jesus by night. And it said, good master, we know that thou must be sent from God, because no one, no one can do these miracles that you're doing unless he be sent from God. And Jesus is said, he answered and said to him, I say unto you that except a man be born again, he shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Today you must be born again this morning. And Nicodemus, he looked at him kind of puzzled. He said, how is it that me being an old man, how am I, am I going to enter the womb a second time to be, to be born again? I got news of the things of my Lord. It's not natural. It's, it's not of, an, of, of natural things here. And no doubt Nicodemus, he was trying to take every, every bit of knowledge that he had gained 
came upon this world <laughs> and he was trying to understand these things, trying to understand just what he meant. And Jesus, he looked at him and he told him, that which is born of the flesh, it is flesh. He said, but that which is born of the Spirit, it is spirit. Uh, uh, Brother Chad, when I begin to pray on account of my sins and I begin to seek out the Lord, uh, and I try to find, uh, and I try to find a relationship uh, the best I could with them talking a uh, day and night, uh, uh, what I found, uh, what I found about salvation was this, Brother Joe, that my family, uh, 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 they could tell me all day long about the Lord and could tell me uh, 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 everything that the Lord had done for them but until I begin to speak to the Lord for myself <laughs> and I begin to try to get to know him, <laughs> what I found was this relationship it was very personal <laughs> just between me and God <laughs> and then the same is for you yeah. the thing it is not it is not natural this morning but it is of the spirit we can point you and we can try to throw as many stumbling blocks in front of you to make you consider the whole matter, but it's up to you this morning. It's up to you if you would want to get to know the Lord. It's up to you to begin to seek Him out a little bit. You know, one time it said that Jesus, He was on a journey. And it said that ten lepers, they, they met Him out front of the gate and they they begin to plead with them, uh, uh, Brother Chad, and begin to ask them uh, 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 to heal them right there. And Jesus, he said, uh, uh, go and show yourselves unto the priests. Uh, and those ten leopards, they all begin to walk to meet the priest. And as they begin on their journey, uh, they begin to look down upon themselves. Uh, and, and their flesh begin to be cleansed right in front of them. And they begin to be healed. Uh, but it said one of those ten men, when he seen, uh, when he seen what was happening, and he seen the goodness of the Lord, uh, it said with a loud voice, he began to shout praises, and he began to run back. Uh, and it said that he fell down upon his knees uh, and began to praise the Lord. And Jesus, he looked at him, uh, and he said, "Was there not ten of you that I cleanse, uh, uh, but just this one Samaritan man?" is the only one who's come back and begin to shout praises. He said, go on your way. He said, the faith hath made thee whole. Brother, I just didn't want to be cleansed. I wanted to be made whole. I wanted. Have you ever felt down in yourself a little piece of missing? Something inside of you that just ain't right. I felt that way too when I tried to plug it with everything that this world had to offer. Yeah, that's right. I tried to fill it with every natural thing, but it only took a matter of time until until nature began to wear off and everything that I put in the way, everything I could show off to my friends after just a minute didn't seem so special and that hole began to feel empty again. The only time it began to get filled is when I turned to this man named Jesus and looked to him. You brothers, go ahead and get you a song. The Lord, He is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Everything, i got four daughters in this world and I love them. I feel with everything that's in me and of everything that I've ever come across. I don't want to give them money. I don't want to give them anything that I found in this world. The only thing that I found worth giving to my children was this man named Jesus because that's the only comfort that I found in this world. That money it may do them for a week or a month or a day, but I want to give them something that would carry them through anything that this world has to offer. This world is like walking in quicksand, but thank God I found me a rock to stand on that never changes. That's what I wanted to lay down. I said, girls, you get on this rock and there's safety there. I found a better way in this world. 
God help me to make it right. I wasted so much time seeking after worldly pleasure with each passing day. Lord, bless them today, the 
lift them up for you, God. Oh, Lord, would you bless them. A father and all those little kids, Lord, as they travel to Tennessee, Lord. A God, would you, Father, keep them safe, God. A Lord, Father, and all of those, a God has been traveling, Father, would you watch over them today, God. A Lord, a Father, and all of those that couldn't be here today, God, would you bless them, Lord. A Father, Tammy and Lisa today, Lord, would you remember them? Yeah. Oh, 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 Father, would you remember uh, every name on this prayer list today, Lord? A oh, God, if it would be your will, Father, but Lord God, a oh, Father, more importantly, God, would you remember? Oh, Lord, anyone that might be here today, God, oh, Lord, that doesn't know you, Father, oh, Lord, I ask of you, God, would you, Lord, uh, touch their hearts today, Father, oh, God, Lord, would you, Lord, just call something to be said, Father, a oh, God, that may be, oh, Lord, they will begin to seek you out, God, Lord, a oh, Father, because you know Father, if there's any here, Lord, that don't know you, God, oh, Father, would you work in their life, God, let them, oh, Lord, just let their eyes be open unto you, Father, oh, Lord, and I just ask you today, God, would you continue, Lord, to bless this little church, Father, help us, Lord, God, to keep our eyes on you, Father, oh, Lord, to walk in a way, God, that you would have us to, Lord. And God, would you just look down and forgive us, God. Oh, Lord, for every time that we have let you down, Father. Anointed, realizing, God, that you never let us down, Lord. God, thank you for everything that you do for each and every one of us, Lord. God, would you bless these brothers when they come, God. Lord, lift them up for you, Father. God, I hope that I've asked all of this in a way that's been pleasing to you. And I ask all of this in Jesus' name and amen.